Hey everyone, this is my review on Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. I do remember watching this movie years ago as a boy. I knew I was very young at the time, and I gotta be honest, it kinda got me interested. And don't get me wrong, the first movie from 1991, believe me, that one is a masterpiece. But this one, it's alright, but still, it was decent, I would say. Alright, let's get to the plot. It takes place around Christmas and Mrs. Potts just basically telling the whole story about who saved Christmas. It's good to see some of the original cast come back to do the voice of these characters again, like Belle, The Beast, Lumiere, Mrs. Potts, and some of the original characters from the first movie. But there's also new characters as well, like the new villain in the movie, Forte, voiced by Tim Curry. Oh, come along, it's merely an opera. Five, he's voiced by the guy who plays Pee Wee. The, the master is skating! Ah! And also Angelique. She's voiced by the actress from Annie. I am not responsible for this baroque atrocity. So it takes place possibly around this, I guess. It's Christmas Eve and Belle and the Beast were ice skating and then this happens. <laughs> well, looks like the Beast is, you know... Not in the mood. So Belle wants to celebrate Christmas, but Coxwift disagrees at first, but then he changes his mind. So they go to this attic and getting all the Christmas decorations, but there's one last thing they need is a Christmas tree. Meanwhile, the Beast finds out about it and we get his backstory. Well, just like in the first movie, but like on the glass wall, but this time it takes place around Christmas. A curse upon your house and all within it. Man, even her eyes are pretty disturbing. <laughs> The Beast doesn't allow Christmas, but Belle is like, oh f him, we'll just celebrate Christmas anyway. So after meeting Forte, he tells Belle that the only Christmas tree they can find is in the Black Forest. After when Belle says it's kinda dangerous there, but they just went there anyway. After Forte, well, Tim Curry, sings this villain song. You must love someone, may I suggest? You love yourself! <laughs> Poor demented dove! The Beast destroys all the Christmas stuff, while Belle and Chip found a perfect Christmas tree. She gets stuck in the ice, and then the Beast shows up and saves her, and puts her in the dungeon. Forte encouraged the Beast to destroy the flower, but the Beast opens up a present from Belle, and he reads the whole book. Later on, he goes to Belle and got his Christmas spirit in him, but Forte is not happy, so he uses his music to almost nearly destroy the castle. The Beast rips out the keyboard, and yeah, this is how Forte gets defeated. So after they clean up the place, which I don't know how, so don't even ask, they cut the Christmas tree up, Belle and the Beast wearing the same clothes from the first movie, then we cut back to the present, Belle is wearing a new dress for some reason, Fife is now the maestro, and yeah, I'm just gonna end it here. So that was Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. Now, I always remember the songs in the first movie. The songs in this one, they're alright, but still, they were decent. Apart from this song. There's no doubt that as a team, you are the very best. It's not bad, but still, is it really necessary? We're cut above the rest. And as for Tim Curry, he did a good job in my opinion, and what can I say? It's Tim Curry. <laughs> and the animation in this one is alright, but still, you can tell they were trying. Anyway, this movie. I would say it's okay, but still, it was a decent movie, I would say. So, there you go. That's my review on Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Take care, and bye!